Hi everyone, Diamond Peter here. I have started my gnomes that I unboxed this morning from Timu. So this is my Beach Life 23 picture that I'm doing at the moment. So I thought I'd pop in and do a quick whip and chat. I've got some tag questions from Becky's Diamond Bling that I thought I might do for you while I'm here. And uh, I'll answer those and that will be pretty much it today. So it's only going to be a very short whip and chat because there's only six questions, I think. So, but I thought I would come on and support Becky's channel by answering these questions. And that way you guys get to know a little bit more about me too, I suppose. So, okay, first question, number one. If you could be any profession, what would it be? Uh... Hmm. I always wanted to be an author. I always wanted to write a book. I would have loved to have just sitting down, sit, sitting down, sat down. I would love to have sat down and wrote a, I can't even speak properly, let alone write a book. Goodness me. <laughs> um, I would have loved to have sat down and written a book. Yeah, I don't. Don't know what sort of a book, whether it would have been a children's book or, you know, just, I don't know. Yeah, any sort of book, really. I would have just loved to have been an author um, and had a book published. That would have been, that would be lovely. I think that would be, I need some more wax. I think that would have been absolutely lovely to have written a book. So, yeah, an author for that question. Number two, what? Did you actually become a teacher? So I work with special needs kids. Um, I teach kids in literacy and numeracy, mostly in groups. Um, kids that just need that little bit of extra help. I work with behavioural kids. So I work with kids that have behavioural problems. Uh, I've been in that same job doing that for... 13, 14 years, so it's, uh, uh, yeah, I've been doing it a long time, and uh, I love it, absolutely love it, so, number three, where were you born, and how did you come to be where you live now, so I'm not going to give town names, because I don't feel comfortable doing that on YouTube, but I, um, sorry, just spilt diamonds everywhere, I lived, I was born in a very small country town in New South Wales, Australia, and I lived there most of my life I did move to another town for about 11 years of that of that time where I met my first husband we were married for 22 years and then the marriage um, broke down and I was on my own for a little while and then I met, oh everything's falling sorry guys I met my current partner through a mutual friend because my current partner works worked used to work in education as well and um, we've been seeing each other. We was yeah we've been together since. Well, we have started seeing each other five years ago, and I moved in here. It'll be two years in January. I moved over here to another small country, New South Wales town. That's a lot smaller than my hometown. This this town's a lot smaller. That's why it took me a long time to settle in here because it's a um very very small country town. And there's not a lot happening here. It's, yeah, very tiny. So, um, yeah, so that's how I came to be where I am now. Um, question four. What is the one moment in your life that has impacted you the most? Uh, the birth of my daughter. Yeah, so um, without going into too much detail, I had trouble falling pregnant and she was the result of, in, of fertility treatment. So, um, yeah, so definitely my daughter's birth is just the most amazing day of my life. It was the, the most amazing day was also finding out when I was pregnant because it was just, I couldn't believe it. I was amazed. So, um, cause we'd had such a big struggle. So, um, I'm just going to change colors guys. So yeah, so definitely the impact, the biggest impact for me was the birth of my daughter without a doubt. She is, um, she's my pride and joy. She's 
the most important person and will always be the most important person in my life. She's um, not only my daughter, she's my best friend. I know they shouldn't. They say you shouldn't have your children as best friends, but she is definitely my best friend. Sorry, I'm just saying what I need to do next. J, 16. Um, I'm just going to continue answering these while I'm trying to find the next colour, guys. So the next one. How did you meet your partner or spouse? If you don't have one, who is the most influential person in your life? Or, this is not mentioned in the video, what would your perfect person be like? So I do have a partner. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to find this before I get confused at what colour I'm looking for. I'm looking for 16. Here we are. So yes, yeah, so I do have a partner. Um, I met my partner five years ago through a mutual friend. We both worked in education and um, we've been together ever since. So, um, yeah. Um, I never say his name because I don't know that he would like his name mentioned on videos. He's not sort of into YouTube and all that sort of stuff like I am. Um, so I don't, even though, you know, no one would know, no one would know who he is. He, I just don't feel comfortable mentioning his name because th that's, I'm pretty sure, not what he would want at this stage. So, but yeah, he's a lovely man. He has looked after me very well. We got on very well and now everything's falling off my desk. My goodness, sorry, just lost my sloth. Everything seems to be falling off here today. Um, yeah, he's he looks after me very well. We get on very well. Um, we take care of each other because he's had... He's had lots of health issues and things, so I try to do what I can to help him out. And we just get on really well together. And um, we have a joke together. We have a laugh together. And um, quite frankly, it's just nice coming home from work and having someone ask me how my day is. I've never really had that before, so it's it's refreshing. It's quite it's nice to know that he actually wonders how my day was. So, yeah. So, next question. Uh, this is the last question. Which two, two or three people do you tag to answer these questions? Please also tag me back so I can find your video easier. I will certainly tag you, Becky. But um, I'm not going to tag anyone in particular because I never know who wants to do these questions and who doesn't. So anyone who would like to take part and answer Becky's questions, please feel free to do so. And if you don't, that's fine too. Not a problem because I know not everyone likes to do tags. They sometimes like to watch other people do tags, but they don't actually like to do them themselves and that's fine. Everyone has their own thing. So so that's the question. So I hope, I know it wasn't very exciting, but um, my life's not, not the most exciting of lives, but um, sometimes it's nice to get to know someone a little bit better through a tag through questions so um, I'm not going to go for too much longer because this video is going to shut down again I can feel it it shut it's already shut down once no twice on me today so um, I have actually I have deleted some more stuff but I'm just not going to go for too long just in case so I hope everyone's having a lovely day um, if you're doing diamond painting or crafting of some sort, let me know down below what you're in the comments what you're working on. Um, I'm going to try and get as much done of this gnome one as I can. I'm going to go and watch some more of your videos soon. I need to catch up on some videos because I um, am a little bit behind on watching people's videos. But yeah, other than that, that's about it. Um, I've already been shopping to get the groceries for dinner. We're going to have chicken and vegetables tonight. We're having, I think that's chicken drumsticks in honey soy glaze and honey soy sauce with veggie, veggies. So, yeah, so that'll be nice. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday. And it is still cold here. It's still winter. It's the 1st of spring on the 1st of September, so I can't wait for the 1st of spring. I know um, I posted a short this morning. Uh, go and check that out of the canola fields around here. 
and I know it's not good for the hay fever, but oh my goodness, the canola's out, the wattle's out, the blossoms are out. It's absolutely beautiful at the moment. So everything's out really early for spring here. It doesn't normally come out until the end of August, but um, there's a lot of... Is that one of my bags of diamonds over there? Why is that there? Sorry. I don't remember putting that one there. I must have dropped it. Um, yeah, so all the canola fields look absolutely spectacular, but yeah, it's not good for the hay fever, unfortunately. But um, but it does look lovely. It's it's just a carpet of yellow. Um, go and check my short out that I posted this morning. But yeah, it's just a, it's just a a carpet of yellow in all the fields at the moment. It's beautiful. People stop to take photos of it, and um, I can see why it's spectacular. But it causes a lot of havoc for people with their hay fevers and their allergies. Unfortunately, my partner's one of those. He works out amongst it and um yeah it's not the best for people that have really bad sinus and hay fever issues so I'm pretty lucky I'm not too bad sorry I just need some more wax I'm not too bad with it um it does affect me if I get out of the car too much around it but I, I don't get out of the car like this morning when I took the video I just wound the car window down and Stayed in the car and took the video. I didn't want to get out just in case I started sneezing and eyes started watering and all the usual fun stuff that goes with hay fever and allergies. But, uh, yeah, but it is beautiful. It's it's a lovely sight, for especially for visitors, people that come from overseas or from other countries. They You see them on the side of the road quite often stopping to, to take photos and... Yeah, it's very pretty. Anyway, guys, I'm going to um, leave this here because I know it's going to stop very shortly, and I don't want I don't want the video to stop again like it did this morning. <laughs> I have to redo it or post a second part because that's I don't want to keep doing that. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. I hope you've enjoyed my videos that I've posted for you this morning. I have another video very soon of another haul i've got some items coming from fan cells um i think one or two of those items are brand new i haven't seen anyone else unbox them yet they're new new items to the company so i'm looking forward to them coming and trying them out but that's about it so if you don't mind subscribing if you haven't already like my video give it a thumbs up so that it helps my channel um again i'm getting a lot of views but not a lot of likes i don't i mean if you watch the video and you don't like it fair enough but if you watch the video and most of the time i i hit like anyway whether i like it or not because it's i just i've watched it and i think mm, i'm going to help this person out because they can only get better I mean, if there's something in my videos you don't like, I will only, I will try and do better or get better. I, I do know sometimes the noise and the crinkling packets of diamonds and that when I'm unboxing, but that's what you get with an unboxing, guys. I know it's it can be annoying, and I do try to you know tone it down a bit, but when you're unboxing things, it tends to rattle. That's part of unboxings. So, um, cause I've had a couple of comments of people saying the noise was too much or whatever, but again, yeah, I, I do try to cut down on that as much as I can. And I also try, and I know I didn't this morning in one of the videos and I must try again. I try not to talk over the top of myself putting the diamonds back in the bags because I know that you can't hear what I'm saying. And I, I do admit I do do that and I need to stop. So I will try my hardest to not do that in the next in the next um unbagging if I can so but I'm still learning I mean I've been doing this now for over 12 months just over 12 months my anniversary was last month in July um 12 months yeah I started YouTube and I'm still learning I'm still you know a baby at it really I suppose but um I still enjoy doing it um, which is good and I've met some beautiful people some lovely people along the way 
and uh, continue to meet people along the journey along the way and it's just lovely I yeah I love making new friends and talking about diamond painting and crafting and just anything in general really it's just nice so yeah so if you don't mind subscribing and liking my video and I will be back very soon with another video of some sort I'm not really sure whether I'll do another whip and chat before my other order comes um, or what yet but um, hmm. I haven't done any cross stitch that was what I was going to tell you quickly before I finish this I haven't done any cross stitch so there hasn't been a floss tube up from me for a while um, I've had a break from cross stitch my eyes got a little bit sore there for a bit so I had to have a break from that I will get it out again. There are a couple of beaded, little beaded um, things that I bought that I really want to get done. So I might bring them out and do one of them on my video soon. But yeah, I needed to have a break from that for a bit. So I just find, I don't know why I find diamond painting not too bad on my eyes, but cross stitching is not good for my eyes. I don't know why that is, but anyway, that's okay. I don't mind diamond painting. It's very relaxing, therapeutic. So enjoy the rest of your day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I will talk to you very shortly in another video. So I'll just quickly show you what I've done. So I've just done that little bit down there, down here, and here, and here. And I've started... This little one in the bikini up here. So hopefully when you see it next, I've done some more. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good afternoon, morning, night, wherever you are. Bye.